guys, it's iPod Touch Helping here, and in this video, I've actually got a really good video for you guys, and it's how to sort of fix the keyboard problem that many people are having so they can't get customized keyboards. So I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to get customized keyboards on 3.0 and above firmware. So I'm on 3.1.2 firmware right now. And to do this, I am going to be showing you guys how to do it without a computer. Uh, there's lots of videos out there, but most of them are with a computer. So uh, I'm showing you this just on your iPod Touch or iPhone. And what you're going to want to do first is add two new sources that you probably won't have. The number one source is iaccess.com. And I'll put both of the links of the sources over there in the video description. And uh, I'll just read them out here for you. So it's iaccess.com slash apt. That's the first one. And the second one is nazaroth.co.uk slash repo and both of those are going to be in the video description and once you have both of those added what you're going to want to do is search for i access so you're going to search i access search and you're going to download that one right there i access os3 all right so click on it and install it now once you have that installed what you're going to want to do is uh you're going to have to fully power off your uh, iPod or iPhone. So hold the power button and you're going to have to fully power it off. But uh, I'm not going to do this. You only have to do it the first time. And uh, if you don't do that, then iAccess won't be able to, op to open up. So there is iAccess. So you're going to open it up. It does take a second here to load. And it just a little pop-up comes up. And since it is in Chinese, what you're going to want to do is turn off everything except for the top one. So turn everything off, 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 and then you're going to just want to simply click exit. All right, so then once you have done that, now you're going to have to go back into Cydia and just let it load here. That's my monster loading sign from my theme Color Swirl. Just does take a second to load Cydia. That's why I don't really like Cydia that much because it takes too long to load. <coughs> Sorry about that. And now that Cydia has loaded, what you're going to want to do is go back into Manage and Sources. And you're going to go to that second source that you added, which was nazaroth.co.uk slash repo slash. Go into it. And then you're going to go into the I section where it says I access keyboard black, blue, pink, storm, or the other storm. And those are the only five keyboards that actually work right now. So you can't just go and download any customized keyboard. These are the only five that you can do. So I like the black one, so I installed it. And once you have chosen yours that you want to install, you're going to want to go into Winterboard, and you're going to simply click on I Access Keyboard. You're going to let your iPod reboot, or iPhone. It's just rebooting here. And here it is, just slide to unlock as usual. Let me just turn up the brightness a little bit. And just go into, and there it is. And if you don't have it, what you're going to want to do is, oh, and whenever you get that pop-up, always click the bottom one or else it reboots your iPod for some reason. Uh, what you're going to want to do, if you do not have the black keyboard, if you just see a normal one, you're going to see a little globe down here in the bottom left corner. You just simply click on the globe, but I don't have the globe down there. Just simply click on the globe and it should uh, work. So, uh, yeah, that's just a really easy way to get a keyboard on your iPod Touch or iPhone since it's not working on 3.0 or 3.1.2 firmware or above, stuff like that. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.